Hey everyone and welcome to another Airbrush Asylum video. In this video we're going to show you the completed Dragon Hellhound Chopper artwork. So all the artwork before we send it off to get it clear coated. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take a look at that right now. Okay, so here we have the completed rear guard or rear fender as I should say. You can notice that as of the last time we showed you this, we have now added the blue fire. So that ice flame running around all of the murals. So you can see it goes right to the tip. If I pan out a little bit more, you get a better understanding of how that looks, but that's really made, it's sort of the finishing touch for the artwork and just uh, creates that flow throughout the whole bike. And we'll just zoom in and we'll show you some of the final detailing. See the dragons breathing some blue flame out as well onto those skulls. Got all those energy pieces in the in the wings, and you also notice the lots of detailing in the wings there. So majority of this was freehand. I just masked out the actual dragon artwork and then did the background just to make it pop a bit more see some of the skulls there so predominantly on this one uh, transparent black and a more detailed black trident were used so that the paint was trident as well as some cerulean blue cobalt blue even blue violet um, from createx illustration colors to work in that underwater section and also in those glowing bits. I used uh, a light blue and then um, you can see a bit of that cerulean blue through there as well as the edges on those glows. And here we have the completed oil tank with the three hellhounds with the glowing slashes and chains. This is a Trident Fluoro Green, so it will glow under a black light. And then we've also got that fire kicking off the side of the mural on both sides. So I'll pan around and show you that as well. And again, same sort of coloring as per the rear guard. So trident white, transparent black, and a deeper black with illustration colors used by Createx being cerulean blue, cobalt blue, and obviously that uh, fluoro green by Trident. And then we just zoom in so you can get some detail. So a bit of brushwork in the mouth as well, and on the little bits of the fur the teeth and again this was predominantly airbrushed freehand um, off my sketch and then mask off the actual um, hellhounds and the the reaper and then do the background from there flames were done freehand using freehand templates completed art on the side of the tank. Again, you can see the fire tapering off that area with the glowing hellhounds, the axe-wielding reaper. You can see they're running through the flame. And just to zoom up, we get a bit more detail up close. But that artwork fits really nicely on the side of the tank, as you can see, with that teardrop section. Again, similar sort of colour palette. I'll link up to the colours that I used in the description below, so feel free to check that out. I'll also pop a link to the SG100 Intercoat Clear by House of Colour, so that you can um, check that out too if you want to use that to seal off your artworks. It's just um, 
as you can see it's got like a bit of a semi-gloss finish um, so or more satin if anything oh, that's a bit of gloss in there it depends on how heavy you put it on but it just really protects your artwork and then makes it easier for your painter to wipe things down if they need to especially this being water based Here we have the other side of the tank, again the fire flicking down around the mural coming off his wings there. Got all the glowing sections in his skin. Get up a bit closer so you can see the detailing. Got the warrior there, the reaper again with his battle axe. So you can see how much more that, just by adding the fire, how much more movement that gives the artwork. Just going to use some KC10 wax and grease remover by House of Colour. I just want to show you how that's going to look, like give you an indication of how it's going to look when it's cleared, just to show you that colour. Um, it's probably still not going to be super accurate because of the lighting in here, but let's give it a go. We'll just put some of this degreaser on there and that should uh, gloss up that section so you can get a better understanding. Let's just uh, wet it up a bit more. And I'll take the camera off the tripod and we'll just let you have a look. I don't know if you can see that, but kind of get the idea there again once it's actually cleared it's going to look a hell of a lot better than that like I said the lighting in here it's good for doing artwork but it's not natural light so it's not really showing the paint at its true color even though they're daylight globes it's a bit, um, it's just not as accurate. Okay, here we have the front guard or front fender with the dragon, three headed dragon mural on the front. You can see if I zoom in all the detail in the uh, scales, the eyes have got that fluoro green again, which just makes them pop. And then we've also added the blue fire to that as well. So if I pan out here, you can see how cool that looks just flowing up the side of the guard. Then on the back, we've got the skull with the shield. You can really notice the texture in there and we've just got some smoke flame burning off. So it gives the appearance of the, the paint actually burning away in those sections also got the roses with the demon dragon, the battle axes, the horns, and I'll just spin it around so we can see the other side of the flame. So here we go, we've got the other side of the mural here. And then fire kicking off that with the mural on the rear here we have the frame of the chopper with the Oren symbol most of you probably recognize this from an old school movie called The Never Ending Story. But it was just a real fitting emblem to finish this chopper off. The double headed snake. And you can see the scales there if I put my finger how tiny those are. I actually made a small template to create that. And then ran the blue fire off just to run around the seat 
get out of the reflection there. So the blue fire was created, like I said earlier, using the True Fire templates by Art Tool. So specifically the Mike Lavalli ones. And um, the colors that I used, I started off with a blue from Trident, just straight blue, sprayed that on. Then I used a uh, mix of white with blue to make a light blue, sprayed that on. Then I went over the top of that with a cerulean blue, and then I came back in to re-highlight with that blue-white mix, which gave me the light blue. I will be putting out a video showing you how I did them, so that way you can give it a go yourself on whatever artwork you're doing. So I hope you enjoyed that guys and checking out the completed artwork on the Dragon Hellhound Chopper. Now that all the artwork's done and our job is finished on this particular project, I'm going to handball it over to our painter Ash who's going to clear coat and flow coat all of that artwork that I've um, protected with the SG100 Intercoat Clear. So when I say flow coat, that means he's going to put two coats of um, two pack clear on all the artwork first, seal it all in, sand all that smooth and then I'm going to check over everything and then he's going to apply another two coats which is known as the flow coat. So I can't wait to see the pieces all back together, the whole bike back together and glossy. It's going to be pretty exciting. I might even um, give you a bit of a video and just show you how all the parts turned out once they've been cleared because that color is really going to pop and also all the artwork um, is going to really pop once that clear goes on. So as I said, hope you enjoyed checking this out. We do have more coming up for you very, very soon as we move on to our next projects. Um, until next time, thanks for watching. And if this is your first time to the channel, we would love to have you as part of our community. So feel free to hit subscribe, tap on that bell icon so that you don't miss any of our new content. And until next time, go grab your airbrush and go do some amazing artwork yourself. And we'll see you again very, very soon. Bye for now.